It was there in our in our face, you know. Mama, what's that little orange cap? And I, like, well, I guess it's a syringe lid, ladies. Let's talk about what that is. You know, that's how it kind of, we had a little chat about it, so. A needle stick exposure is when a person or child picks up something that usually looks like this, a syringe, and these are the most typical syringes that are found. So there are little kids that see a syringe somewhere either on the ground, could be a playground, could be outside their apartment complex. They pick it up because they're not sure what it is, and then they end up sticking themselves, or in some cases, kids like to play, and they stick another kid with a needle like playing doctor. One of the things we worry about when a child comes to the emergency room here at Cook Children is that the child could be potentially exposed to HIV, hepatitis B, or hepatitis C. One of the things we can try and treat or prevent after an exposure if the child is brought to the emergency room within 36 hours of the actual stick is HIV. Well, it makes me uncomfortable. It makes me uh, want to follow my little girl around, you know, keep her within an arm's length. I don't know, uh, I don't know what I'd I don't know what I'd do if I saw her playing with them. I don't think she'd touch them. Who, who's to know? Who's to know if she's playing with a friend and they both get into it? Would... Definitely really Hi. scary. I mean, I, I've never seen anything like that here. You see cigarette butts sometimes, but not syringes. <laughs> and that's terrifying. Sometimes these things are in playgrounds or outside in parks. And we want to make sure that when they're out there that they don't see one in a sandbox or something and, and go to grab at it. But if they do, they need to let mom, dad, or guardian, grandma, grandpa know that they actually did get stuck with, with a needle.